Hello, and welcome to Birdgut. This is a game made by Micah Bursier. I am very likely horribly mispronouncing that, but I don't know where the guy is from. There is no website for him or the game. He has no social media. There's no information anywhere. All this game has is a Steam page. It is a free game. Which is surprising, because it looks very interesting, and looks like it's actually a, a fully fleshed out game. So I'm kind of curious why it's free, but it's free. So if you like the look of it, then make sure you check it out. It is apparently a puzzle platformer kind of thing. I don't know if there's action in it, or if it's just jumping around and stuff. I hear it's kind of challenging, so we'll see how, how that all goes. It's all hand-drawn, and it has this very distinct style that I swear reminds me of something, but I can't put my finger on exactly what. I want to say, like, uh, oh, what was his name again? Don Hertzfeldt or something, his rejected video, but it's not quite that. And in the trailer for the game, they used Fever the Ghost, their song Source, which also has an incredible music video that is very distinct in its style, but not quite the same as this, so I don't know if he drew inspiration from anything or, or what, but it feels familiar to me. But it's mostly, it's all hand-drawn, it's mostly black and white with some color here and there, I think. And yeah, puzzle platforming, I don't know. Let, let's check it out, it's free, why not? It's been out for a couple months, I've been wanting to play it. There are almost no options in here. You can rebind controls, that's nice. And this it, this is default, it was D-A-S and then using E in space. So I'm assuming we're actually gonna use the mouse, cause why else would this be the default? Eh, I mean, maybe not. We'll see, I'm gonna leave it like this and we'll find out how the game works. And sound volume and music volume was like this by default. It's nice that you can change them, so. I'll tweak that if I need to, and then you can set resolution, and this is windowed or uh, full screen. That's it. No other settings, but it's a very simple game, so I guess it doesn't really need it. And we have nothing in the secrets right now. And yeah, let's let's jump in to Bird Gut. Oh, yeah, I started it for like one second. I'm gonna lose one second of progress. Uh, continue. Right, I forgot to even mention, we're a bee in this. We play as a bee that apparently gets like eaten by a bird and then has to travel through its its internal organs. Lovely. Press E to continue. Welcome to the world. You are a worker and you are to collect nectar and pollen. You may now begin working. Wait. Oh, press E. I can't click. Oh my god, are you okay? Can you speak? Oh man, this one came out wrong. I can't let the queen find out. Oh, I see, we're like a, a bad bee, we're a runt. Jerry, Jerry, come here. Dude, stop yelling, you'll wake them. What do you want? Jerry, will you dispose of this one? Quick, before her highness notices. Oh, Beesus, what happened to it? I don't know, just get it out of here. Oh, oh, goodbye. Ouch. Press A to go left, press D to go right, and there's a bird right there. Press space to jump. Um. Oh, it's not a bird. Okay, this is a tree. I thought that was like the foot of a bird, and I was just gonna walk into it and die instantly. And there are physics! Oh my god, it's like playing Half-Life 2 all over again. Crazy. And you can only jump, you can't like fly or anything. And I can't... No, the mouse does nothing. I guess maybe it is only a keyboard game, so I guess there's no real reason to use W, A, S, and D. Hold space to jump higher. Let's not. I'm dead. You died. And roll credits. Press any key to respawn. Had to do it. Nope. And yeah, once again, die there. Just confirming, you fell onto thorns. Thanks, game. 
the like camera movement is a little jarring, I gotta say. Not a huge fa- okay, you can't like glide or anything. You fell onto thorns. Oh god. I didn't even jump that time. Roll credits. Oh, I see, is there- oh my god. There's not like a unique death line for every single possible way you can die. I mean, that was also thorns, but I guess because it was the, uh, the first pit, it was unique or something? I don't know. Oh god, I have to try it. Oh, I see. You were caught in a Venus flytrap. Alright, at least I'm here. Okay. I saw something about these getting, like, nerfed because they were too quick or something, so you had to, like, really, really jump very quickly. I don't know. And gotta try again. I guess that's our goal now. Die in every possible way in this game. You were hit by a sweet gumball. Oh god, oh jeez, okay, that's actually not easy sometimes. I guess it's uh, a little random. Yep, okay, I should have jumped there, should have seen that coming. There we go. Yeah, a little luck base there. Hold down space to jump higher. Yeah, we, you said that before. Snail shell here. God, that fucking, like, foot-clapping sound. Jesus. Oh, I see. Okay, this is a little different. You have to hold down space before you land on one of these mushrooms, or it doesn't work. Like, if I hold space at any point, I guess, as long as you hold... no? No, you have to hold exactly when you land. Alright. But then if you release it after you get the boost, you still go... you don't go high enough. Alright, so you have to hold it the entire way. I don't know why this is relevant or important information, but it is. Alright. Hey. Guy. Wake up. Can I not, like, light this or something? No? Yeah, that's a shame. Bye. Can't do anything with the leaves. Oh my god, look at me! I'm so beautiful! I have wings now! All I had to do was tie myself up in my own spit and... and... bam? Oh, and bam! All of my dreams come true. I thought it was saying, like, my own spit and bam. What the hell is bam? I feel so alive! And then it gets eaten by a bird? Along with me? No? Oh. I'm soaring down. Let's fall. Oh, I can't fall. Okay, never mind. Acorn? I see. Well, do I see? Guess we have to go over here. I thought I had to, like, get the acorn onto the seesaw thing. Do I? Oh, I do, because I can't jump over here without it. Okay, I get it. That foot-clapping sound is going to drive me insane. I assume I had to do that. Or do I not? Oh, I can't. I can't even, like, make it go down again. Shovel. Oh. Hello. Apply for unemployment. How do you do? Window one. This side up. Hey, jerk! What do you think you're doing? Skipping the line like that? You think you're more important than everyone else, huh? Get back in line! Can you even hear me? I'm so sick and tired of working with you dungheads and dunces all day long. I'm done! I quit! I would rather be crushed to death than have to speak with another, another moron like you again! Oh. Nom nom nom. And this is how it ends. Game over. Get eaten! Bird gut. Let's quickly just check that. I can't- damn it, it's not working. Hold on one second then. Normal. Wait, normal. Wait. 
0 0.71 milligrams. So because I'm low weight, I'll go somewhere else. Please hold still. Remain calm. Why did I just get poked? X-ray. You are feeling. Am I feeling? Very, very sleepy. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is very visually interesting, that's for sure. Um... Oh, I see, everyone else is like falling asleep, but I'm not, for some reason. Awaken and serve. And because I didn't fall asleep, I haven't been taken over. Job... Intestines. Evaluating. Handicapped. Job stomach. There's so much just information all the time. Another one! The Fabulous Stomach! Welcome to the Fabulous Stomach! I see, it's like a portal-esque puzzle. Let's finally check these. I have to open this up now. Get eaten! Get eaten by the bird! The Fabulous Stomach! Reach the stomach of the bird! I did it! Apparently this game has a bunch of secrets as well, like one in every level or something, so I'll have to try and find all those. Like, it's not just... I mean, it probably would... Oh, it's stuck? No? It's... it's stuck. You can't, like, restart or something, can you? You can only save and quit. I guess let's find out what happens. Save and quit, then load. Um, oh, I see. There we go, it falls off. So it does restart the area. I just wanna see... No, okay. Just up there, thinking I could, like, jump through or something. Hello? I assume this is bad, getting hit by this thing. Yep, okay. You got shot. That I did. Oh, 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 okay. So I guess you just run. Yeah, that works. Acid. Let's go into the acid. You burned up. Oh, all the way back here. Well, this is gonna start getting annoying, I suppose. Oh, you can just run past it. It's fine. Press S to drop through thin platforms. But I've committed now, I have to die in every possible way. Press E to interact. What? How is that thing fine in the acid? Well, I thought that was like a larva or something. I guess it's just a nut? Let's see how much I can do. Oh, it stopped. Okay, I did it. Excellent. And it's just bubbling up for some reason whenever I stand on this. Alright, cool. Checkpoint. Hello, evil snail. Oh god. You got blown up! Oh Jesus, and it saves everything. Holy shit, what? Did he kill himself? I guess that was what you were supposed to do, just like... Get him to shoot and then lead him, push the grenade into him or something? All right, guess I solved that by actually trying to die. That doesn't kill me, all right. All right, gotta try it, gotta keep doing this, of course. You got grinded into bits. I bet there is going to be an achievement for, uh, like, every single death. You got smashed. Let's go this way instead. I see, I can't. You got lasered! And I can't get up here. And spiked. You got stabbed by nails. You got shredded. Oh, fuck. Poked to death by nails. Oh my god, there's so many death messages. 
Oh. Jesus. Oh, crap. I hesitated. Should've just gone. There we go. And jump. No, nothing. Hello, ducky. Oh yeah, just ask it again. Can I push this? No. Alright, never mind. Can I jump on things? Yes, I can. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. So you can, like, sort of bunny hop on things that are in the acid. Pump control. And I can't get out, so I have to press it. Ah, I see. So then you have to get back the other way. Like, I push this down. Wait. I guess I can just push it down this way. I was gonna say, like, get back around up there and then climb, climb to pump control A, but I shouldn't need to do that, at least not right now. Right now I just have to go back and press it again. Yeah, there we go. And I guess we do the same again. And what's this? Ah, I see, I need this to be filled with acid. And the acid needs to be in... in between A and B, or this is pointless. Yeah, this does nothing, okay? Wait, I don't want this to close on me. I guess you have no choice. Alright, fair enough. There we go. Cool. Hello again, snail. And there it goes. And for some reason there are fires, alright? Barbed wire, of course. You got caught in barbed wire. Stomach City. Down? Oh, in here. Ah! Fuel. I see. I need the fuel on the ship. And that opens that gate. Oh, but not for long. There we go. I could get crushed by that, but... Oh, man. I'm starting to think there probably would not be an achievement for every possible death in the game. Ah, fuel me! Plobus. There you go. And we can jump up here. Bur bird boss? Bird... What would that letter be? Birdie boss? I guess I just jump into the pipe. Yeah. Uh-huh. More fuel, I see. We need to just fuel it again. Oh, don't need to jump. Yeah, it kind of like flings you out if you just keep walking. Alright, there you go, more fuel. Oh, should I have tried to jump up there? Could I have jumped up there? What happens if I just kill myself now? Where do I end up? Just here, okay. Ah, uh, could you jump that? If I was right up here, you could probably jump that. 
That might be the secret. Okay, wait, hold on, let's see. Where am I? If I'm past that point when I load, I'm fine with it. I'll just, yeah, okay, whatever. I'll deal with that later, I suppose. Not worry too much about missing stuff the first time through. Maybe I can get there later, you never know. And let's jump. And it's acid. You disintegrated. Nice fleshy sounds. Oh, can't jump that. Oh, and yeah, exactly. I did get right here. Wait, so... Oh, that was a bit laggy. So what's the point here? Wait, what? I I guess I could jump that, that platform. I tried like twice and couldn't get up, but... I guess I just jumped poorly. Oh, just jump from here. There we go. All right, makes sense. And I see. All right, so we have to push one first. There. And then the one up here. And then this one. Get the fuel. What was that sound? Great! More fuel for Plobus! And the journey is over. Thank you, Plovis. You were a good friend. Alright, not too difficult. And I guess I just jumped down. Can't interact here or anything. And there was an invisible wall there. I see. Okay, gotta be quick. Jump! And that's a one-way path. Nothing over here. Oh my god. What is all this about? A pipe mace, I suppose? Can't go in there. Only one way to go. Right? I can't go... Up here. Wait. No, stop. Oh, man. No, you can't. All right, never mind. Well, I guess this might be a good place to end it. Let's just peek in. Oh, new zone. All right, perfect. An achievement. Let's check what that is. Peculiar dwellings reach the stomach city. All right, so I'm in the stomach city. Let's leave it off there for the first episode. This is certainly interesting. Kind of a lack of music. Though I guess the music is coming in right now. It's been very quiet up until now. I have no idea how long this game is. I think it's fairly short, but it does have secrets and stuff. So there might be secrets and achievements. So there might be quite a bit here to do. I am interested. I will keep playing it. Thanks for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!